Today we want to talk to you about whether or not caffeine is the right thing for you to drink to live your best life. So let's start off with the facts. Coffee is one of the most popular drinks in the world and caffeine is the most commonly used drug in the world today. On the high street, cafes have continued to boom. 80% of people who visit coffee shops do so at least once a week, with it growing massively in popularity among the millennials. So what are the benefits of coffee? We are really starting to sound like a cheesy video. <laughs> so coffee has a high antioxidant status, which is important to prevent ourselves from oxidizing by chemicals, toxins, and inflammation. Coffee can help some people feel less tired and increase energy levels. After coffee is consumed, it goes into the bloodstream and the brain where it affects our nervous system and can lead to improved mood, memory, energy and cognitive function. When it comes to athletes, caffeine benefits can actually enhance performance as it may help to increase the amount of oxygen intake during exercise, as well as stimulating the nervous system, which may help the breakdown of fat in our bodies for energy. Apparently, there are reports that drinking coffee before exercise can improve athletic performance as much as 11 to 12%. Other benefits that coffee has been said to have are better brain function, metabolism, helping with blood sugar balance, and can act as a diuretic. But is it good for everyone? Okay, well, according to the National Institute of Mental Health, about 31% of US adults will at some point in their lives experience an anxiety disorder. In 2013, there were 8.2 million cases of anxiety in the UK, and in England, women are almost twice as likely to be diagnosed with anxiety disorders as men. But the question is, does caffeine affect or even cause anxiety? Mm -hmm, good question. Research has found that there are four areas of which caffeine can affect us, with caffeine intoxication, caffeine withdrawal, anxiety disorder, and sleep disorder. Yeah, and it's interesting because caffeine keeps you awake in two ways. It blocks a chemical, adenosine, which makes you feel tired. And at the same time, caffeine triggers the release of adrenaline, which increases energy. Mm -hmm. However, if the amount of caffeine is high enough, these effects are much stronger, which can result in caffeine-induced anxiety. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is people with anxiety disorder or social anxiety are especially sensitive and larger doses have been found to induce anxiety symptoms. Now, the caffeine-induced symptoms that can mirror anxiety, these include trouble sleeping, fast heart rate, gastrointestinal problems, nervousness, restlessness. So why do we talk about this? Well, recently I started consuming a lot of coffee again. Now, one of the reasons is because I love coffee. We recently went on the honeymoon to Sicily and their coffee there was amazing. I grew up on coffee, my nan, my mum, my uncle, they all drink an excessive amount of coffee. But one thing that they all have in common is they all have anxiety issues. Now, when I've been drinking a lot of coffee recently, I've been feeling a little bit out of whack. Sometimes we can think there's nothing wrong with us having a coffee, that it isn't, we see it everywhere, it's very popular but some of us are more sensitive than other people. And I think right now we live in a culture where coffee is cool and everyone's been encouraged to do it. But as the rates of anxiety and depression continue to increase, I think people need to stop and have a look at whether or not they need, should stop drinking coffee and not just follow the crowd. What do you think? I agree, I mean, I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but I think the reason why is because I always feel an effect. Coffee for me, it makes me a bit jittery, makes me feel a bit on edge. Just cutting out coffee for like a month mm. and seeing, does it make a difference? Does it help? So I think for me, coffee for me, on occasion, very rarely, um, limited to when I was doing my exams, which I regret because it didn't actually help. Mm. So. so guys, that's the end of the video. 
And if you're interested, we do Bible studies, um, we're Christians, and so yeah, we're really passionate about the Bible and just learning how to have a happy life, how to do the right things. We discuss everything from coffee to, you know, feeling out of work, like Michael said. So just reach out, you know, drop a message, comment, um, be good to connect. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the Bible is definitely one thing that if you're feeling out of whack, might be able to help. It's all about just staying open-minded. I was an atheist, stayed open-minded, and reading the Bible massively changed my life. So guys, I hope you enjoyed, and remember, always do the right thing.